Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to update your instance of Greg Tech New Horizons. Uh, so for example, we did an update today from 2.7.1 to 2.7.2. doesn't really matter much about the version usually for this, but this is for people trying to figure out how to back up their files to play on our server. I'll also tell you how to do it for single player. There's just one extra folder really. Um, but uh, yeah, so first of all, you're going to download the latest client or whatever version you want on our website, uh, stonelegion.com. If you go to server information, uh, here's the link here. Uh, if you go to uh, Discord and you're on the GTNH Discord, obviously it shows it here. And then, of course, if you're on our Stone Legion Discord itself, you check the latest pin. Here's the number here, and it'll actually just show you the link to go to uh, download it, which would be the Stone Legion website again, uh, which should be pretty handy for people. And uh, hopefully that makes sense. So let's go ahead and open the, we have the download here. We don't even need to open it. This is the beauty of this. So we're going to take this version. We're using the 17 to 21 version of Java. Uh, they listed as Java 17 plus. And the reason for this one is because it's better performance, better everything. Um, once again, we're using Prism Launcher because Prism Launcher works really well with this. So we're just going to go OK, accept. We're going to just drag the files over here. It's doing everything. It, it takes a bit because it's got to extract it, right? It's a big instance. And then I usually rename it, or I could have renamed it, honestly, before I even dragged it on there, but it's all right. Uh, so I like to call it GTNH 2.7.2, then Stone. Yeah, it gets a little glitchy there, but there you go. There we have it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of all this out of the screen here, and we're going to open our old instance here. So this is my main instance. I'm going to open the folder here. And uh, you can see that there's a folder here. So I'll, I'll just put the, the old version on here folder wise. Make this as clean as possible. And then this is the new version. So um, we're going to go into Minecraft on both of them. Obviously, the new server has like nothing there, which is fine. And we're going to start copying certain files over there basically to restore what we want. So for, it doesn't matter if you're playing single player or not. Because I mean, if you're playing multiplayer, you probably have uh, a world save, things like that. So you got uh, your save folder. So let's just start with the save folder. We're going to copy that over. Uh, the reason you want to do that, even if you don't play single player or multiplayer, any eyes there, any bookmarks you've made, things like that are stored in this NEI folder. So I would just recommend moving that over right away. Um, mine's taking a while because I have actually have a, a world backup there I was playing around with. So it's showing all the players. I was testing something, but that's fine. We're going to move that over. It's a good example. It takes time. Um, and then you got journey map here. So journey map is all your map data. So we're going to copy the whole thing over. And uh, yeah, basically that'll have all your mapping uh, waypoints, everything else. Visual prospecting. This one here is a big one. This will contain your uh, mine nodes, things like that. So like on journey map where you can see all the things you've mined, this is in there. I've seen people have a glitch where it's the wrong data and stuff. I'm not sure what they're doing. I've never had that. Basically, if I copy and paste it, it's fine. I keep my old client here as a backup anyways for a while. I don't even delete it right away. As you notice, I had multiples, but yeah. Um, okay, the next one is grab your two option files as well is always useful. Um, actually, let's grab uh, the TC node tracker. Let's grab that. So that's your tinker, not your tinker, is your Thomcraft nodes that you see in the world and that you save over time. And then also it has a journey map feature and that's in there. Um, there's a Batania one here. I haven't been using Batania anything yet, but this has some global stuff on there as well. Like I think like bookmarks and stuff like that. Um, obviously, there's your schematica. Um, so I, I don't have any schematics, but if you're using schematic, copy that over. Um, if you're using any resource packs, copy that over. So I have, I do have, I guess, do I have anything in the resource pack? No, they just have the ones they include. So I don't need to copy anything over. Obviously, if you do copy this over, it might off ask to replace. That's fine. You know, um, and then after the resource pack, uh, screenshots. So if you're taking any kind of screenshots in the, uh, pack, you can do that. I don't know if I've taken on one single screenshot. I don't think so. So I don't even have the folder. And then you want to grab your two option files. So options, uh, options and options NF and paste those over. And that's pretty much it. You're you're pretty much good here to go. You can close this all out and then you should be able to load this up and you're back into everything you had before. Now, I would always recommend copy. Don't move because if you move it and you make a mistake or something, you've lost your backup, right? So the idea is you're keeping your old 2.71 instance as a, a backup 
and you're just moving everything on there. And that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, if you do some customization, like a particular mod has a config file, like for example, you're moving the UI or a look of something, whatnot, you're going to want to back that up and move that as well. Um, if you've added on any client add-ons and things like that, and if there's configuration files for that, obviously you'd want to move that as well. But for most people, what you saw is all you need. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.